Hi, Anchor listeners. My name is Brady. The Snake River intrigues me, and I'm always interested to explore and learn more about its history. It starts in Wyoming near Yellowstone Park, flows west through southern Idaho to the Idaho-Oregon border before it turns north through the Boise Valley through Hell's Canyon to Lewis and Idaho. It turns west again to flow through the Palouse before finding its way to our community where it converges with the Columbia River to complete its 1,000 mile journey. The Snake River watershed has over 54 tributaries that pour into its waters that irrigate over 3 million acres to produce crops. My intrigue comes from spending time on the Snake River. I've had the privilege of doing a lot of recreation from hunting and fishing to hiking and camping. I've enjoyed sunrises, sunsets, calm waters to swift moving rapids, basalt canyons, wildlife, and stars so bright you don't need a flashlight to see. Although the physical beauty and recreation speak to my adventure side, it's really God's creation I can't get enough of. His creation shows His whole heart on display for our enjoyment. That's why I love the outdoors. Whether it's the Snake River or many other outdoor areas I can go on and on about, the outdoors is where I experience God. Man can't create the Snake River and all its unique beauty. We can only enjoy it and be in awe. When you experience God and see how He gives His whole heart, it's common to gain perspective, feel humbled, and be recharged. It's also fitting to ask, what's our response? Let's look at Romans 12, 1. In the NIV, it says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. The NLT version says, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. How do we offer ourselves as living sacrifices, and what does that mean? The general concept is, he wants us to deny worldly desires and pursue His will and purpose for our lives. The practical is to apply it to your life. How do you view and treat others? How you open your whole heart to God? How you give back due to what you've been given? The words we choose to speak, how we choose to spend our time, and the activities we choose to pursue and participate in. These are all areas of living sacrifice that we can make in response. response to how He has poured out His whole heart in nature, in humanity that is created in His own image, and the best, in His own Son who gave the ultimate sacrifice for us. Again, a reflection of God's heart for us. I'll close with this. As the waters in a snake shape the canyons, let God shape you. As the waters of the snake are the life source for agriculture, let God be your life source to grow you. Let any deep and vast canyons in your life be bridged by Jesus.